Okay, so far this afternoon, you've met ragtime composers who in their other lives are computer programmers, engineers, artists, and students. Our next composer, John Hancock, has spent many years in grassroots and electoral politics and still does. He was at one time the executive director of the Missouri Republican Party. I met John almost 40 years ago. He was one of the young dudes hanging around at Traver Titchener's place in St. Louis. A ragtime politician? Well, I don't know. I'm going to introduce John since I know him and say that he is also a great public servant and a longtime friend of ragtime. Uh, this is my most recent composition. It's called Chapultepec, which was the battle during the Mexican-American War fought in 1847 in Mexico City. Chapultepec was a castle military installation. And the U.S. who really forced the war, was Jim, Jim Polk's war, he, uh, he kind of forced matters. It was not a necessarily a just war. We just took a lot of land. And, but mapping the strategy into that castle was Generals Robert E. Lee and Ulysses S. Grant working side by side in 1847. I think that's poignant. And in the midst of the battle that the U.S. won, five young <laughs> Mexican military cadets draped themselves in the Mexican flag on the fifth floor of the Chapultepec Castle and flung themselves to their deaths. And there's still a plaque there saying, Los Eros Niños, brave young men who died to their death. This is a poignant militaristic piece that ends with a harbinger of what was to become the American Civil War. Uh, this is Chapultepec. Mm -hmm. 